What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is day number three, and we're starting right outside of D-Pad Retro Gaming and Collectibles. This is a really cool store that we came to last time we were up here with Ryan and Jess, and we really, really enjoyed it. The owner was very nice, gave us some cool deals, and they had really awesome stuff to look at. I don't think they're open quite yet. I think we have like five minutes or so. Oh, do we? Okay. Yeah, just a few minutes. Um, check out the Sin 64 sign though. What is this? Look at this thing. It's huge. Super cool. So we decided to skip one stop. And I didn't know if I want to talk about it, but for multiple reasons. Yeah, people, I posted in like the Seattle Retro Gamers group with a list of everything that was on our list. And I was like, hey, are we missing any stores? And we added a couple because of people commenting, but multiple people were like, don't go to this particular place. I'm not even gonna say what it is, but multiple, multiple people said, don't go to this place. It's really, really bad. We looked up reviews. They had a three star or they had a two star on Yelp with like 19 two reviews average, yeah. and and 3.9 stars on Google with almost 200 reviews. And they basically, all the reviews said, all the bad reviews said the same thing, that the guy working there- Was very aggressive, very mean, very just hostile. Like, like- He would like follow people would, around the store. Yeah, people would be looking at something and be like, are you gonna buy something or not? And like, just like be very and rude. They were also saying that the guy inside was like refusing to wear, to wear a mask and like was just being really really rude and everything was and all the reviews said everything was really really overpriced which that's not that big of a deal to us because we're we're, we're just, just we're lucky. looking for like special things here and there even for stores that are overpriced we can usually still find something to get so that's not the big reason it's just the really really poor reviews and everyone saying that the guy's super super rude makes us not want to go there so Unfortunately, we're skipping one stop. Obviously, uh, but like, that's not a big we deal. We haven't experienced it. It's every like what people are saying, but like it just yeah. decided that we didn't want to start today with going and having a bad experience. And we're kind of like running behind schedule a little bit, so, so we're we like, gonna if we're gonna cut out. a store, it might as well be that one. And we're probably gonna be skipping some of the value villages and stuff like that as well, just because you know we should we should be quite a bit farther on our trip today than we are yesterday as you guys saw we didn't hit as many stops as we had planned because we spent way too much time at at game lobster and before that we spent way too much time at starbucks waiting for the vlog to upload that we were not planning on doing yeah. so looks like they're opening right now let's head inside So we just left D-Pad, which is a very, very cool place. The owner was not working today, so I couldn't try to make an offer on this cool, like, Star Wars N64 like, mobile no thing that was hanging. Yeah, that was his brother in there who said, like, they got it from a friend, and he's a huge Star Wars fan, so I don't think that he would have parted with it. But we did get some really, really cool stuff. You want to go first? Yeah. Um, Abby got two gigantic things, of course. Oh, I got this. <laughs> and then I also got... This. <laughs> it's a vinyl. O U R E. Yeah, it's a. Um, oh, it's a game. Yeah, it's a game. It's a. But there, there's a vinyl. A pal, pal, uh, game. But yeah, I'm excited to play it. It's like, how do you pronounce like or? Or I think so. O U R E. <laughs> I was like looking for gameplay on uh, YouTube and it kept pulling up Cure, which is like a racing game. 
And I was like, no. Um, so we have people who are going to try to par- parallel park. That's fine. They can parallel park behind us. So we got a bunch of Wii U games. We have Assassin's Creed 3, Scribble Knots Unlimited, uh-huh. Zelda Breath of the Wild, mm-hmm. Scribble Knots Unmasked, and Nintendo Land. And then two that are for the collection. We got the wonderful 101 refurbished variant, which we didn't have, and a sealed Mass Effect 3. For GameCube, one for the collection, Knockout Kings 2003, one more off the list. We also got Evolution Worlds and then B-Boy for PS2 for the stow. Then also for the store, we got another copy of Rogue Trip and Ninja Turtles 1. Oh, Nathan was looking for that. I didn't see it. Too bad. We got Win Back for N64. Been trying to find more N64 games, but I can't. They are expensive. <laughs> for Game Gear, we have Defenders of Oasis. Vampire, Master of Darkness, and then for Game Boy we have R-Type DX and Star Saver. And then the last one, box is a little bit rough, but the manual and cartridge were pretty good. This is a complete in box copy of the collector's edition of Ocarina of Time. So this is a gold cart one. But as you can see, it's got some creasing on the top. This side is kind of creased up. There's a crease back here. Uh, this side, pretty much every side has a crease, but still it is what it is and it's a you know kind of hard to find expensive title so very very happy that we decided to stop here because we almost were going to skip this one and just drive to the next area and stay the night there so i'm really glad we didn't do that because we got some really awesome stuff and now we're going to head to the next stop we just got to this mall here in bellevue washington there's half price books and then somewhere there i think it's on the other side there is another uh, game over location so Abby's getting her mask. We're gonna eat a little bit of our leftover food and then we're gonna head in. Yay, half price books. Not getting anything here. Abby might though. We're walking up to Game Over Video Games now. Are you excited? Yeah. It's right there. Just left game over, got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of manuals here, I'm not gonna go through them all, but they were all a buck a piece. There's some decent ones in there. Steel Princess, Super Princess Peach. So we grabbed those. We also got Crystallis for the Game Boy Color. We got three N64 games, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, I probably wouldn't normally have gotten Donkey Kong, but I did because if you post a picture of their, they have a little sign in there. You put the stuff you're buying, take a picture, post it on your Instagram or Facebook, and they give you 10% off. So we got the Donkey Kong 64, and then we also got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. For the collection, we got this sealed Lizzie McGuire 2 for Game Boy Advance. The reason we got it is because it's got the game and the uh the movie right so it's like mm-hmm. a it's like a double pack i don't know if it's all on one cartridge or not though yeah i don't know but these are typically pretty hard to find but yeah we just grabbed that because it was 10 bucks and it was new and then for the collection we got the rayman legends gamestop variant for wii u which we did not have and then we found one more gamecube game legends of wrestling 2 and then three gamecube games for the store we have rocky freedom fighters and blowout and these all complete no manual on freedom fighters and complete and then just wanted to double check these my legends of wrestling is complete and my rayman is complete so on to the next stop we just got to this place called amazing heroes we tried to come here last time when we came up with ryan and jess and they were closed so i'm hoping that they're actually open it's a it's a saturday so i don't know why they wouldn't be but 
yeah it's mainly well it says toys video games comics and collectibles from what i read online it's mostly a comic book store but they do carry a little bit of everything so i'm excited there's a car in the parking lot and then whatever this car is has a crazy looking shape there's four cars over there so i think they're ready abby's eating some more food we got um we got some barbecue last night. Well, look at that car. We got some barbecue last night. It wasn't very good, but we have leftovers, so we're trying to not let it go to waste. Um, a couple people were asking for us to film at like restaurants and stuff. We only went to a restaurant the first day. And it's the same restaurant we went to with Brian yeah, and Jess. Yeah, it was the same place we went to with Ryan and Jess last time we came up, um, but yeah, we didn't go anywhere yesterday. We just we went to this Texas uh, barbecue place and just got just got the food to go. Uh, but if we go somewhere tonight, we'll definitely try to film. So I guess we're not going in here, guys. That's pretty unfortunate. Bummer. Lame. I guess they don't want to make any money today. We just pulled up to this half price books. <laughs> there you go. This is a kind of weird location, but it's pretty cool. Let's go inside. Oh, there's another Tesla. They're hawking at the Tesla. Okay, every just... time, I don't know why, but I have an obsession over Teslas. I really want one. I think Elon Musk is kind of a tool though. Anyways. Um... I called Abby a Tesla. Because <laughs> I'm always like, oh, look, it's a Tesla. And I like call out every single Tesla I see. So we got two games from there. We one, got... Pokemon Diamond complete. complete. And this one we're going to keep. It's uh, Persona 3 for PS2. I looked it up after buying it because I, I bought this for the store, but then I was like, I don't think we even have this. We have the collector's edition that comes with like a slipcover and stuff. Uh, we don't have this version, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. So now on to the next stop. Yeah, we've been like kind of just rolling through these last couple of places. So Good, that's how it should be for today. We need to get to the point where we're caught up on our list a little bit more. Yeah, let's go. We just arrived at another castle. This place is pretty cool. We've been here plenty of times. And hopefully, we find some awesome stuff, right, Abby? Yeah. Yeah. Human fall flat for the Switch. For the Switch. Sealed copy. Um, there's been some PS3 games that have gone up in price recently. So we have Azeroth's Wrath, and then we have Splatterhouse. Yeah. We have Bloody Roar 3, no manual. Friend sent us a list of like the PS3 games that have gone up, and these were two on the list, so we've been looking out for them. Uh, but Splatterhouse now is like 60 to 70, and then Asura's Wrath is like 50 to 60, so. We got Lego, the Lego movie video game. Got Guitar some Hero Live, and then we have uh, Skylander Swap Force. So the Human Fall Flat is for the collection, everything else is for the store. Yep. And right next door to another castle is Katsu Burger, which we're gonna go and get a burger. Yeah. I'm hoping it's really good because yeah. we're both hungry. Yeah. We got some awesome looking nori fries with some Japanese mustard and nori ranch. And then Abby got the classic. Yep. Let's see it. I didn't get the classic, I got the Tokyo. The Tokyo classic, right? Adding, adding cheese though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> Dang. No, that looks pretty so good. <laughs> I got the one that has the mushroom on it. Is it good? Uh -huh. <laughs> got pickles. Mm. 
Is it good? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try mine. Look at those mushrooms. The burger looks like a piece of chicken. <laughs> yeah, they said that they it's breaded and... Um, Weird. It's hold like on, it's fried. not focusing. That's what it says. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's like a barbecue sauce. I wish I would have got that taken off. Because I'm not a big fan of barbecue. Mm. Pass them on my face. Yeah, just a little bit. Not as much as I did. Mm. It is really good though. So if you guys are ever stopping at another castle, stop here. Our next stop is another half price books. It's actually half price books, records, and magazines. That's what the sign says. Yeah, there's only a couple of games. We only got one thing at this stop, and it's a white PS2, ceramic white. This is a SingStar bundle in the U.S. I came with a black controller, which is fine because it's still an official one. So We have white controllers. Yeah, we got those white controllers in the Japanese package, so we'll complete this one. Then it becomes like 150 bucks. This, obviously, separate is 20 to 25 and this guy was $65. So, very, very happy with that. They had a very small amount of game stuff. But I'm glad we found something. Value Village. That's it. Control games. Oh, yeah, that's pretty lame. Pretty Lamar. We just ran into someone who watches the vlogs. He also traded in the entire Xbox collection. PS1 and PS2. And our original Xbox. Yeah, he came to the store. Um, that was probably a couple months ago. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'm not finding anything here. Looks like Abby's got a couple books. So we're gonna head to the next stop. I lied, we found one thing. A really dirty PS3 controller, hopefully it works. We just got to another castle in Marysville, Washington. Abby said she's gonna stay in the car for a little bit to finish eating real quick, and then she'll meet me inside. didn't find a ton there but we did get some stuff and I think that we might start to collect for PS3 the only reason not everything not everything like eventually of course we'd be going for a full set we have no room to try to do that right now and you know even the way that we collect I wouldn't be getting just any game uh, we're pretty much just looking at like RPGs and stuff uh, but so many of the RPGs for PS3 are still pretty cheap. Stuff is really starting to go up in value right now, so I feel like if we're going to collect for it, it would be better for us to get some stuff now than wait. So we did grab five PS3 games that I think we're going to end up keeping. Um, we then we got three games for the or four games for the store. So first up for the store, we have Silent Hill Origins. It is a cartridge or game only, it's just in a generic case. Also for the store, we grabbed Disney Infinity and Disney Infinity 2.0 for Wii U. Then the really cool one we got for the store is Land of the Dead for the original Xbox, which pretty uncommon game. And then to keep, I suppose, we have Disgaea 3, Star Ocean, Last Hope International, Fairy Fencer F, The Witch and the Hundred Knight, and Deception 4 Blood Ties. These are all complete. Uh, they were 15, 13, 17, 11, and eight dollars. So I don't know if we can get games like this for like 15 bucks or less. I think it's worth it. And this is the only kind of stuff that I'm really looking for for PS3. And even then, it's just we're not going to go crazy. It's just if we get some some RPGs that we don't have, we'll probably hold on to them for now. Just add them to the collection, and then once we move, hopefully we have enough room to display all that kind of stuff in addition to the rest of our collection. After an hour-long drive, we are now in Bellingham, Washington. At Reset Games. Reset Games. That, that place is called Neener Neener Wiener. <laughs> that place right there. <laughs> That's awesome. So there's two game stores up here in Bellingham. We've never been here before. This is super far north. We're almost in Canada. But Reset Games is the first of the two stops because they close first.
We have one last stop after this one, so we're gonna be kind of quick going through this stuff. This is the most we've spent at any store now. <laughs> yeah. So we have, for the Game Gear, Cosmic Space Head. For the Game Boy Color, Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, Tara's Adventure, Terra, Tara, I don't know what it is. We got some stuff for the collection. We have Tachyon Project Limited Edition for the Vita. This one is brand new. We also have, which I'm excited for, we have Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town Premium Edition, which I guess just came out. We saw one of these at the last store, but the whole side was creased. This one's really, really nice. We I want to get a regular copy though to play. We have what looks to be five Wii Motion Plus adapters. If you sell these for 10 bucks every day, all day, these were $5.40 a piece. We got 10% off though, don't forget that. Yes. For having an account. Um, for the collection, we got Bad Apple Wars Day One Edition for the Vita. And then you can show these because you've got those. Oh, uh, I got two games. I got Cat's Quest, Cat's Quest 2, dual pack. And then I also got Scully. And then for our brand new PS3 collection, White Knight Chronicles International Edition, seven bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. And then I got three games that I don't see very often for our 3DS collection. We got Moshi Monsters, Katsuma Unleashed. I would have put that one back if I was you. <laughs> Hometown Story, which is from like Harvest Moon. That uh, seems cheap. Yeah, that, I mean, that that's what it goes for, but it is from like the Harvest Moon thing. And then this one I've never seen before, and that's Dual Pen Sports. And then we also got Electroplankton for DS. Is that for us or the store? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these I'm not sure yet. And then for the Vita, we have Persona 4 Dancing All Night and Persona 4 Golden. And then for PS2, we have NFL Street 3 and Guilty Gear XX Accent Core. Then a bunch of Wii U games. We have two copies of Guitar Hero Live. We have 30 great games, Obstacle Arcade, Disney Infinity 2.0, and then two copies of Kung Fu Panda. And then show yours and then Okay. I'll show this one. I'm trying to get this dumb price tag off, which they should have never put on here. I'm not <laughs> trying to be a jerk, but like, how much I spent on this? You shouldn't have put a price tag on it. <laughs> um, so. It's so funny. I'm not happy. <laughs> I got. Yes, you are. Oh, I don't know. It'll come off. Hmm. I got a little pocket watch. It's got link on it, and it comes with a little holster. <laughs> This is an official, like, Nintendo Power uh, collectible thing. I don't know. Looks like there were three different versions. I'm actually, like, questioning. Oh, no, yeah, it says 19. Oh, it definitely is. 1998 Nintendo. Artifact. I've seen them before. But. And it's got, like, from, a chill holster, and it's got, like, a little <laughs> belt loop. And you just. From looking it up, it seems like there's either two or three different. There's one with like Link ones. with his sword out, and then there's one with just like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's black one. The final item uh, is definitely for the collection. We, for the condition, I'd say we may be overpaid, um, but I'm not really too worried about it. This is a factory sealed Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. The box is pretty bad though. Yeah, but. It's fully sealed. The seal is not like ripped up or anything, but. I mean, the box is all crunched in up here, and then it's like rolled over on the front there. It's creased on every single side, <laughs> but it is factory sealed. So it's kind of cool, but this was definitely the most expensive item. Not the most expensive thing on our trip. The Chrono Trigger, I think, still was the most expensive, but this came kind of close to that. So that is everything for Reset Games, and now onto our last stop of the night, which is Cosmic Games. Yes. And here we are. This is mostly a like a card store and stuff, but they do have video games. So unfortunately we did not get anything from this store. Uh, it's called Cosmic Games. Uh, amazing, phenomenal se selection. However, nothing was priced. Um, they just wanted you to use a singular computer um, to look up everything yourself, which um, with- On their website. On their website, which was like such a large selection. It was very hard to do. Also, I and Cooper didn't have very good phone service in here, so we couldn't really pull it up on our phones. I tried to do that. So we didn't get anything. We had 25 minutes left. Um, great, great system for singles, you know, for Magic, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, not a good system for video games. So unfortunately yeah. we did have to, we just ended up leaving and not getting anything. Yeah, unfortunately it was, it was kind of frustrating to not have anything priced. 
Well, and, and you don't want to like interrupt their conversation that they're happening. There's like three or four people and they're having a conversation. So we didn't want to get in the middle of that. Yeah. It just takes all the fun out of it to not have stuff priced and you have to like look everything up on this computer. It's just not fun. Um, so. Also, that computer was a little grungy. Yeah, it's one computer for everyone to use. It's, it's you know, not the cleanest thing. But we didn't even bother to, like, look around and everything because it was just, it was way too much work. And the, the few items that we did look up, they were more than we were willing to spend on them. Um, they only had two GameCube games that we needed. Uh, they were both much more than I'm willing to spend on them. Yeah. So, it seemed unfortunately, like they, rather than pricing stuff, they just had price brackets. So, it was either $10, 20 $30. So. Yeah, we didn't see anything in between those prices at all. So... You, and it seems like they're rounding up as well. Yeah. Um, so it's unfortunate that we, you know, we couldn't get anything here. And it's it really sucks that it was our last stop of the night. And we drove really, really far out of the but way to come up here. But we're going to have a great day tomorrow. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully. Going to both Pink Gorillas tomorrow. Yes. Um, hopefully. We still, we have until Monday if we want to. But uh, Kelsey and Cody do not work on Monday. So if we go to Pink Gorilla Monday, we're not going to see them. And we would prefer to. Yeah, and so it's always fun chatting with other business owners. So we're gonna try to make it to both Pink Gorillas by tomorrow, and those will be our last stops. There's nothing else um, south from there that we haven't already hit. So we're gonna drive an hour or more down south now, and we're gonna find a hotel for the night. Yes. We're back to the cheap rooms. <laughs> we're at a Red Lion here, but this is, oof, I don't know. Usually Red Lions are pretty nice. This one is kind of sketchy. Yeah, I definitely would not sit on that thing or in that chair. They both look really gross. <laughs> Luckily, we're only here for one night. Um, so we brought the stuff in. We have a bunch of food and everything, but uh, we didn't bring in everything. We just brought all that stuff. The back seat has like the Guitar Hero guitars, some of the big box stuff. It's all covered and everything. Um, but this is the majority of like the smaller stuff. And I need to kind of like reorganize. Abby just went to take the little thing back. Hello? Hi. Who is it? Oh, it's so cold in here. <laughs> the air conditioner thing is not on yet, but hopefully it works. This is so, did you get it locked? Yeah, what the heck? It is... Keep the pedophiles out. The AC doesn't need to be on. It's colder in here than it is in the hallway. But you can use this as heat. Oh. Heat 71. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow, we have, I believe, seven more stops to make, including both Pink Gorilla locations. And since we made it, uh, we made it to this point, uh, you know, before Sunday, we should actually be able to see Kelsey and Cody, and we will, of course, you know, film at their store, assuming that they allow us to. They always do. I don't know why they wouldn't, but um, should be cool. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Hope you guys are as well. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. Please do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.